Welcome to The Shooting Show. This week, we followed Jeff Garrett shortly before the lockdown, protecting an oilseed crop. Unable to shoot the marauders over the crop itself, he had to set up the decoys on a maize cover strip in between the two fields. This also gave him the opportunity to test out two cartridge offerings from Ely. Um, well, we're, we're in a sort of bit of a middle of a predicament here where we've got a right field, which is just over the back of the wood here, uh, where we can't really shoot at because it's in right near the villages. Uh, so we, there's no way we can really get there. So we're watching the pigeons. Uh, we've got another right field over the back here and they're commuting. But uh, one thing for us is that we have got a, a strip of old, um, cover here, um, which has been flailed down. There's a little bit of maize left on it, and the pigeons are beginning to find that. Um, so the only place I can really have a go at them is on this cover strip, because I can't go at the maize, uh, the rape, because of the situation. So there's one hedge that's, that's at the end of it, uh, and it's the only place we can go. So we've set up here. Um, uh, we've got a few real de uh, pigeon decoys out there. Um, and it's just a case now of just uh, sitting out and seeing what we can do. We've got the Browning Maxxers. Um, uh, it's a gun that I do favour in the hide. I've shot one now for four, four or five years. Um, absolutely faultless in the hide. Uh, put thousands of cartridges through it, never missed a beat. So, and we've got um, half choke in the barrel. Um, we're shooting, uh, we've got three different sorts of Ely cartridges today. We've got the Pigeon Select, which is 30 gram. We've got the Pigeon H3, which is 32 gram. And we're also going to be using the uh, Ely Steel, which is a 32 gram with the eco-friendly wadding. Um, so we're going to give that a go as well. Um, got the Sens Digital um, Ear Defenders, which uh, are right highly Shame they didn't come along about 20 years ago or didn't find them 20 years ago, but they do a fantastic job. Um, very comfortable to use. Uh, so I'll be obviously wearing them all day. Um, and just basically now yeah, we've just got to sit and wait. Game mode, that's the one we want. <laughs> Of our first customer. There's pigeons moving out there, there's one swinging around. They're just intent on going back to that wood, is where they sit which we can't shoot it, simple as that. And they either drop out there and go on at the right or they come this way. And at the moment, <laughs> they're going out that way. All the best laid plans and that, but still early. And I've got still got a full flask of coffee.
Leave it, leave it. They've gone into that wood there now, which is ideal if they start coming back from there, but... George, get back. Good boy, good boy. Those people that think I've gone quite doolally, um, I have a little theory. Uh, this early in the day, when you get them groups of pigeons, two, three hundred pigeons at a time, this one's singular, uh, coming into your decoys, you know, like I said before, you might get up and shoot one or two, lucky to get three. You've just educated two or three hundred pigeons. As to where we are, um, my little theory is it's best to leave them and then hopefully later on in the day they'll come back in smaller groups. In theory. Uh, there's a couple of blue rocks, but there is a couple of pigeons amongst them as well. That first one, the lowest one in front's a pigeon and the back one's a pigeon. Oh, there's a few more coming up there now, look. Yeah, 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 don't, don't, don't. In front, in front, James, in front, look. Yeah, yeah. No. Here. Good boy, leave it. Good boy. <sighs> yeah, try in the dikes, in the dikes, in the dikes. We've got, so I've been here a couple of hours now. Um, it was a bit, a bit touch and go. Pigeons were very much still in rape mode. Big, big groups coming over as high, very high. And then when they'd come in, they'd all come in in a group, which I don't like early part of the day. Um, but now they seem to be switched on a little bit more. Um, so uh, we've got the shot cam on, and I think it's a perfect opportunity now to switch over to, uh, to the Ely. VIP steel. Um, so we've got steel cart, which is 32 grams, five shot, also with the with the wad, pre-eco, pro-eco wadding. So we'll soon see, here comes some now.
Good boy. Yeah, that could have come round, James, look. Yeah, well, uh, we've got a couple coming in here now, actually. Um, but from about half 12, quarter to one, um, the birds just started to show that little bit of, bit of interest to keep me interested. Um, and, yeah. Oh. And I picked up. You know, they've picked up, they've, they're still getting big groups, like big, big groups of pigeons, which I hate shooting at. But then, you know, we're getting to one o'clock now, sort of half one, uh, on to two o'clock, and they're beginning to break up into smaller groups. So now, patience is paying off. Um, you know, we're, we're looking at a, a good sized day here now. Um, you know, I think we've probably got, probably in the 70s, possibly the 80s now. Uh, and the pigeons are coming in ones and twos, which is making it easier to get a few. So I think we've still got probably about an hour, maybe another hour and a half shooting. So hopefully by the end of the day, you know, we've, uh, we'd have had a good day. Crow, crow. There's two, there's two coming here. Good boy, come on, good boy. Good boy. Leave it. Good boy. Come straight by. This one here, no, 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 that here.
Right, that's it. Or is it? Right, uh, that's another day uh, done. Um, we finished up with 106 pidge and 14 crows jackdaws. Um, so a good day all in all. Um, started off very slow, but I, I was quite expecting that because uh, um, obviously everything had been on the maze first thing this morning, had a feed, gone away, um, and then they're coming back out this afternoon. So from about probably 12 o'clock time, just after 12, it started to pick up. And then as the afternoon wore on, it got better, busier, um, and we finished four o'clock um, with a good bag. Um, just got a couple of pigeons here that I've shot today, just to get, give a bit of an idea. This is obviously what I would say probably fed on here this morning, a bit of maize. And this one was shot here this afternoon, probably one of the last ones that we shot here, uh, which has obviously had a afternoon on rape. So there's uh, that, especially that there is one of the reasons why you know it's worth coming here, because as I said this morning, you know the pigeons are still on the um, mape and they're coming over to the maze. So uh, and there's a good example of, of one that we shot this afternoon. So uh, we we switched over to stay at about I don't know when it was probably about midday half twelve time. Uh, we started off with lead uh, and then we switched over to steel. Um, and really, honestly and truthfully speaking, uh, as with the lead, I missed some, I killed some good ones, um, and I hit some, you know, as I would do with lead. Um, hopefully, when you see on the uh, on the show, um, everything that was shot from a shot cam point of view um, was all shot with steel, and as from when we switched over from the whole afternoon, everything from then onwards shot with steel. So. You know, it, it's a, it is a good a good replacement. Um, I have to be honest with you, um, nothing is as good as lead. That's why it's been used all these years. But uh, there is a, an alternative out there, uh, and that's steel, uh, especially shooting the uh, Pro Eco wads. Um, you know, so and as everyone knows, with me, you know, I'm a I'm a very favourable man on plastic. Uh, sorry. As everyone knows with me, I'm very much a fibre wad man, which is one of these. Um, you know, so going over to these that I know, because I've done an experiment myself, these will break down in the environment, uh, a normal environment, I don't know how long, probably a, a month, maybe six weeks. Um, a lot of rain and, or in, solid, in water all the time will break down very, very quickly. Um, certainly, a better alternative to that but as you can see it's been in the ground for some time it's got full of mud uh, hasn't even done anything so you know that's what I don't like seeing I'd rather see that that's the new improved uh, wad that's what I use all the time so that that is better than that Well that's it for this week, thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter and do ring that bell for more videos. And if you're not a member of Basque, it's time to join now. Basque, looking after your sport, looking after you. This has been The Shooting Show.